Hey there, Jed Coburnus here from JedCoburnus.com, and this is Talk Therapy, which basically I just tap into my truth. The first 10 minutes I talk versus my ego, right? It's me versus my ego. And the second 10 minutes is me with my ego, and the third 10 minutes is just me. And sometimes I go 30 minutes, the full 30 minutes, and sometimes I don't. It just depends. Um, this is just a very useful tool for me to completely destroy my ego, to completely like let go. And right there, right there was my ego getting in the way because you know every time I pause or say um or uh or whatever, it basically means my ego gets in the way of my thought pattern saying, oh, don't screw up, don't screw up, don't screw up, like don't do it. So, you know, there it is. I mean, this is just what I do. This is just a huge tool for me, and I just post it out there. I suggest everybody give this a shot. Record yourself just talking. Just talk out loud, no matter what. Even if you would say, I don't even know what I'm going to say right now, but I'm just going to keep talking because Jed said so, and this is supposed to help my health and well-being and my confidence in myself, and this might actually help me you know, lose weight or it might actually help me. I mean, anything, right? It helps you do anything that you want to do in life. And this is just a huge, a huge tool, huge advantage that I've learned. And, you know, a, a big thanks to uh, Kyle Cease. Check him out. Go look at his YouTube channel. It's amazing. The dude's brilliant. He's a comedian turned transformational speaker. Like, the dude's just got it figured out. But <clears throat> today, you know, yesterday I talked about the, uh, my, uh, right there is my ego, right? Getting in the way. Um, what was yesterday? Yesterday was social media addiction, right? And that was some pretty deep stuff. And, and I don't even know what I'm talking about today. And that's the other part is some days, actually most days, I don't even know what I'm going to say. And that's okay. Like, I don't know and I love that I don't know what I'm about to say because it's it's how it works like I for the last probably three four months I've really grown to love the not knowing like like literally not knowing is something that I love isn't that nuts like some people are like oh my gosh don't, don't you have anxiety over that aren't you very anxious I'd be like no way I am nowhere near anxious because the not knowing is where I am all the time. And and I love it. I love not knowing. I love not knowing what's going to happen next. Because then I don't I don't have to I don't have to know what's going to happen next. Like I don't sit there and worry. I don't need to worry about where I'm going to go, what's going to happen. Oh my gosh. Like it frees my mind so much. Maybe that's what I'm talking about today. Maybe that's kind of what I feel like my body's telling me to talk about not knowing. Like maybe that's what I call this thing today. Maybe that's what I talk about is loving the not knowing. And maybe I already talked about it once before, but who cares? This is this is me. This is me talking. This is me loving it. <laughs> loving the not knowing. Yeah, that's when it, you know, is not knowing so bad? Like when you're a kid, when you're a child, I mean, I've really been tapping into some, some, I don't know, some pre, what do you call it? I don't even know the word. So like childhood tendencies lately, like not like, you know, tantrum because that's childhood, but like, like <clears throat> uh, recently I was talking with a friend, just to give you a story. I was talking with a friend and you know, I'm completely, we're, my family and I are completely uprooting and you know, I was talking to her about it. <clears throat> Haven't talked to her for a while, so we're kind of catching up on a few things. And I was basically saying, like, this is what I'm doing. We're uprooting. We're moving six hours north. We're moving closer um, to family and further away from other family. And, and not that we want to move further away from other family. It's just kind of how it's working out. It just works out that way where we're moving closer, closer to one family and further away from other family but not on purpose for that other family 
So any, I don't even know why I, I had to explain that. That was a completely off-subject, random piece of <laughs> information. But anyway, so when we were talking, I was basically giving her the plan, the the overall plan of Jed Coverness of me, right? And it, it involves a lot of not knowing. It involves a boatload of not knowing, a lot of visionary, a lot of stuff, right? <clears throat> so to make that long story short, it she was basically just saying, she's like, of all the people that I know, you're gonna make that happen. She's like, you live by no rules. Like, you live by the way you want to live and, and just like the rules don't apply to you and she's like I could never do that I could never do that because I'm just so square and in a box and like I just need to know and I need to have it and, and I'm thinking to myself I'm thinking to myself oh you know what like you can do this right like you can do whatever you want in life like you just you just can and, and I think that's the not knowing. Like, not knowing is a powerful tool. And I think that's what I mean as far as, like, b being a kid. Remember when we were a kid, though, right? Like, we didn't have any rules. Our parents set the rules for us. Not that I had bad parents. My parents still support me to this day, and I love them for it. Like, they've always told me you can do whatever you want in life as long as you put your mind to it. They've also told me I'm, a, I'm my own worst enemy, which that's, those are both true statements. But rules, what rules are you living by? I live by rules, don't get me wrong. Like I live by a uh, set of rules, right? There's my ego, right? Going, oh my gosh, don't say, don't say anything dumb. I live by the 10 commandments, right? Like anybody can follow those rules. Like do not, you know, thou shall not steal and thou shall not kill and honor thy mother and father and stuff like, I mean, those are 10 rules that anybody can follow no matter what, right? Like I believe in God and you can believe whatever you believe in. But for me, it just comes down to, I, I don't, but I don't live by any rules other than that, right? Like, I don't let anybody else tell me what I can and cannot do. I will believe what I want to believe. I will believe that I can do anything. Like the eight words. The eight words come to mind right now. The I am, I can, I will, I believe. And I write these down every day and I, and I believe them. It's I am Jed Coburnus. I can do everything that I say and write. I will hold my words as truth and law. I believe. I mean, right there, those eight words are pretty dang powerful. <clears throat> to then wrap it back into not knowing, like, I don't know what today is gonna, what today's gonna bring, and I love the fact that I don't know. I love that I don't know what today is gonna bring me. I welcome all opportunities, you know. And just saying that out loud gets me really excited. I'm just excited now. Like, doesn't matter what kind of morning I had. Doesn't matter what kind of day I had and like yesterday had doesn't matter just going through the motions of not knowing is very exciting some of some would say well it's actually very scary so to to help you get through that it basically comes down to helping yourself love the not knowing like true acceptance true acceptance of not knowing like acknowledge the fear that you have for not knowing Acknowledge it. Truly acknowledge it. Be like, okay, yes. Say it out loud. Like, that's what we're doing right here. Is say it out loud. I accept, or I'm fully aware of the fear that I have of not knowing what's going to happen. Fully aware. And then accept it. So then you can say, I mean, literally, you're going to say this out loud because your mouth, your mouth is one of the most powerful tools that you have. So speaking it out loud makes it truth for your conscious and subconscious mind. So while you're saying, I fully accept, I fully accept the fear that I have about not knowing. And while I accept that, I love the fact, I, I am loving my fear. I am loving my fear so I can let it go. So I can let it go away from me. And as soon as you let it go, 
it's going to happen that much faster. Whatever it is. Isn't that nuts? Like, literally, it's going to happen like that. <clears throat> and I, I have proof of it. Like, I, I have proof. My proof is the day that <clears throat> the day that we got an offer on the house was the same day that I texted my wife. I, I texted my wife saying, Honey, I think we need to move to Rozo. I think we need to move to Rozo no matter what. Like, even if the house doesn't sell, we need to put a date on my last day on my job and my first day on my new job. Because I already got the job. Like, I already have a standing job. And it's like, here, I'm going to put my notice in on this date. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email my new job and say I'm going to start on this date. Now, regardless of us selling the house... We're good with it. Let's just make the move. So then all we got to do is just have showings for the house and, you know, and call it a day. And then the house is just ready. That very day, that same day that I completely let go of the not knowing, like that I accepted the not knowing and loved not knowing when the house would sell, like completely accepted it. 110% loved the fact and accepted the fact that the not knowing of when that house is going to sell, we got an offer. That's proof. I mean, I don't even know how I, I don't know. And I love that. I don't know how more that I can explain. Like, I don't, it, it just baffles me. I'm just like, Oh my gosh, every, like, seriously, like, Holy smokes. This is awesome. So can you imagine living like that every moment of every day? Yeah, right? That's what I'm doing. Loving the not know. Loving not knowing. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. And this <clears throat> and I'm not I'm not talking to, to anybody in particular. Like I'm talking to me right now. Like this is talk therapy for myself to completely keep convincing myself that this is actually working for me and it can work for you and it can work for anybody like it's amazing it is amazing work what what anybody can do as long as you're talking from your truth as long as you're coming from a place of truth and not a place of like lack and want and all that other crap because literally you wake up and anything past breathing is a win. <laughs> like that's where I'm doing. That's literally what I do every day. I'm grateful to even just be breathing. And I don't wanna say just, but at the my bare minimum, I'm breathing and I'm grateful for that. And anything past that is a win. Like I can move my body, win, gratitude, grateful, love it. I have the ability to speak, I have the ability to think, I have the ability to do anything that I want in life, when, right? And do I know what is going to happen? No, not at all. Do I love the fact that I don't know? Yes. I absolutely love and, love and accept the fact that I have no idea what's going to happen next. But I, one thing I do know, at the end of every day, at the beginning of every day, is God's got my back. That's it. Like, whatever I do, God's got my back. <clears throat> because there, there's, it's just how it works. However you want to call it, God, universe, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm not pushing any beliefs on anybody. The only belief that I would ever say you absolutely 110% cannot live without, you know, and, and there was a, a pause right there. My ego got in the way for a moment because it was thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I don't want to talk about God too much because, oh, you know, like, I don't care. Like, my belief is my belief. Nobody can stop that. But my belief in myself is what makes me believe even more in God because that is that's how like eternal eternal life is now and forever 
how do I know that? I don't. Like, I don't know that. And I love that I don't know that. And, you know, you hear me say that a lot. And that's another Kyle C's thing is, as soon as you say it out loud, like, if you say, I don't know, follow it up right away, right away with, I love that I don't know. So when you say, I don't know, and I love that I don't know, because then you're letting go of all the resistance with that. Now you sound weird, right? Like, who cares? I know I sound weird to people when I say, they're like, I mean, I'm in meetings with people, whatever, like, so what is this? Or how do you do that? Or what are you going to do? And I'm going to be like, I don't know. And I love that I don't know that we're, that we don't, haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> because that's awesome. Like, they kind of look at me and go, okay, cool. That's great. They give me that, like, I, I call it the whack job face. Like, they look at me like I'm a whack job. <laughs> but I don't, I don't care. Like, as soon as you embrace the not knowing, it, everything just gets so much easier. As soon as you accept yourself for what you are, who you are, where you are, completely accept it and not and love not knowing. That's a big deal. That is a huge deal. You don't have to do anything else but be. And, and you can be yourself, you can be whatever, right? Like, it's such a freeing feeling, it's such a freeing adventure to go on. Because I would have never ever thought in a million years that I would be following my dreams, following myself, following, you know, like, I mean, it's, my correlation is when I follow myself, my true being, my innermost, scariest pieces of myself that is my belief that God is right there literally right there I mean you can't get any closer right you cannot get any closer and that's that's where I'm at like almost every moment of every day and I say almost because nobody's perfect nobody's perfect but that's how awesome it is. You know, that is how awesome that I feel every day. And not knowing is, is such a major piece of that. And again, right? Like I'm literally talking to myself right now. I am literally talking by myself. And it feels so good. So I mean this this talk therapy is just it is just letting everything out and going with the flow and feeling how you feel and, and giving it a shot, right? Like that's all I do. It's all I do. So anybody who's hanging with me right now at 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes, man, you're really committed to yourself. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of you. And again, I'm talking to myself. So I'm sitting here going, I'm proud of me. And I'm proud of you. And I know that sounds weird. But I'm good with it. Because, I mean, I've come to the point that... it's It, it comes down to the point that when when you're completely within yourself and comfortable inside of your own skin, inside of your own mind, you you just get to, and I say get, like I get to be me every day. Like, it's a little fearful to think when I'm switching jobs, I'm have, you know, I, I get to meet new people. I know I almost said I have to meet new people, but I get to meet new people and form new relationships. And, and I think the best part of this entire process is these new relationships that I'm about to form are with people that, you know, I mean, we're moving to a place that at least this is what my mind is looking like. And I don't know. And I love that. I don't know if it's true or not. And that's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be making long lasting relationships at a place that I'm going to be at, you know, for the next 30 years of my life. I'm good with that. Like, I fully accept what I'm about to do. Because it's when it's your calling, you don't really have much fear with it. The you, and, and really, the only thing you can measure is what you're going to lose. And what am I going to lose? Well, not much, right? Like, I'm leaving a managerial spot for an assembly spot like I'm getting working in this giant production 
warehouse, but I'm good with it, and I'm really excited for it, because it's something that I'm called to do, you know, like, that's nuts, and I love it, and I don't know why, and I love that I don't know why, <laughs> and, and, you know, anybody around me, I'm excited because society isn't living how I'm living, we're not. We're in such a scared time right now. Like, everybody's scared. Especially presidency and what this nation is up against and all this fun stuff. Like, I don't... And I don't, I don't want to get into politics. I'm not... I, ugh, politics. But I don't let, okay? And I'm not going to let the outcome of the president of the United States to affect my my well-being. Sure, I'm going to go vote. I mean, I'd be dumb not to. But I'm not going to let that entire energy that a person is running for president or whatever, city council, doesn't matter who it is, I'm not going to let that affect my health and well-being. No freaking way. I control me. That's it. And I don't know, and I love that I don't know, you know, who I'm even going to vote for. Not that's any of anybody else's damn business, but it just comes down to, I think right now we live in such a scary time that, you know, the future of this nation is, you know, is unknown. And I think we, I think we fear the unknown so much that it's like a constant panic mode like we're constantly in panic mode and that's not okay as Americans we have always been proud and, and we've never backed down and we're starting to kind of fold because we're letting the fear we're letting external sources bother us you know, it's start. We got to get back to the old ways of caring for our neighbors and understanding and loving who they are. Bring empathy back, right? Bring empathy back to this nation, to ourselves, and put put each other, put ourselves first, in a way that will put each other first. Support, support everyone. Support each other you know grow stronger as a community as a nation first and and fully accept the fear the not knowing and let it go because as soon as you say i don't know and i love that i don't know where our nation's going and what's going to happen a sense of peace comes over you and that's what happens and that peace can spread rapidly. And I'm talking rapid like wildfire. So that, I guess that's that's the offer to myself today and to you and anybody listening is to love the not knowing. Like truly embrace your not knowing, the unknown, the fear of not knowing. Like that's a big deal. To completely embrace not knowing what's going to happen. That you have that calm and understanding within yourself to know that everything's going to be okay. And how do I know that? I don't. I don't know. And I love that I don't know that everything's going to be okay. But just by saying that, I feel instantly better. Like, instantly. 10 times better because it frees that part of my mind of the fear and it lets it go and it goes away <laughs> so there it is there it is talk therapy man it works I don't even care and nobody can tell me it's not give that a shot give it a shot today and if you know anybody who wants to hop on my newsletter. I reformatted the whole thing. Like, I'm excited for it. I think, it, you know, 
I put a daily message in there. I put a question of the day in there. I put the workout of the day in there. I put the this, right, my talk therapy in there. And then I put uh, the exercise, the exercise physiology show in there. I'm starting that back up, going once a week again. Um, actually, it was once a day, but now I, I, you know, I'm going to decrease it for now. Um, I'm going to go once a week. Then I feel like, you know, that's a good commitment. I think I can commit to that. And I'm really excited for it. I'm going to start that up next week. I'm going to put it in my schedule, my daily planner of what I do and get ready for it and prepare for it. That's not going to be very long. It doesn't have to be. But in my own head, I want to get back to it. I miss it. I love that, that I could do that and have enough confidence to, to, to put it out there. So that's, again, right, I'm talking to myself right now. So I'm just reminding myself and that's what I want to do and that's what I'm called to do some more. So get on that newsletter, jetcoverness.com forward slash newsletter. Put your name and email in, and on the other side, let's create magic. <laughs> As always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to believe in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.